Hi folks. Every morning what I like to do is wake up. <laughs> As we all do. But when the time comes during the day that I turn on the computer, one of the first things I do is check the Drudge Report to see what breaking news there is around these in the United States and the world. Well, this morning when I did that, I noticed this little headline on the Drudge Report having to do with China, communist China, commie-led China, where once again, what did the commies do? They're suppressing the people in East Turkestan, known as Xinjiang, who are majority Muslim, Islam. What's happening is, in the article by the Wall Street Journal, they detail how they're being oppressed, the Muslims in Xinjiang, being sent to what's called detention centers, in essence, concentration camps. Over a million people, you hear that? Are being detained in these concentration camps. They are forcing the Muslims in these camps to eat pork and drink beer, which is against their religion. So, what's happening as a result of this? What is the world doing? Oh gee, let's sign a petition. That will stop the commies. We'll show them. Yeah, like a petition's going to work. So you know who's probably saying something in reference to this? You know who's protesting? Well, it has to be the Arab world, because anyway, there's a front against Islams or Arabs or Muslims, why the Arab world erupts in anger. Let's listen to the anger and the eruption taking place in the Arab world. Gee, is that Farsi? Gee, is that Arabic? No, it's cricket. Because there's silencio, there's silence coming out of the Middle East in reference to this horrific tragedy taking place against Muslims in China. Now, I wonder why the Arab world is silent in reference to this. Could you possibly figure it out? How come there's nothing coming from any of the Middle Eastern countries critical or condemning China for its suppression of their fellow Muslims in East Turkestan? They're going to go start thinking. Kids. You want to know why? Listen, I'll, I'll illustrate to you why. There you go. All about money. But what's even more tragic about this is when the Israelis defend themselves against Hamas. Gee, there's such an outcry by the Arab world. The American news media constantly condemning and criticizing Israel. But let China send them off to concentration camps? Nothing. But you know what, folks? When you purchase an item and it says made in China, put it down! Unless, of course, you have no choice. It's the only thing you can buy. But in most cases, we have a choice. We just have to spend a few extra dollars. If the Arab world is going to be silent, let the rest of us say something with our purchases or non-purchases. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. <laughs>